Hello, good morning everyone, which one here? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to have a look at this product. This is the Smoke Genie from PMI Gear. Smoke Genie is a small portable smoke machine. It may not be as small as the Michael Vogel, which I have reviewed a while ago on this channel, but you can still fit it into pretty much any camera bag very easily. There are two different versions of Smoke Genie available. The professional kit, which is around $700, and the starter kit, which is just released and the price is around $500. Both kits come with the exact same Smoke Genie, a remote and a bottle of the smoke liquid, and also the smoke chamber, which holds the smoke liquid and also converts the liquid into smoke. The main difference between the two versions is that the professional kit comes with a hard carry case, an extra smoke chamber, a haze fan, and the smoke shaping nozzles accessory, which I will show you both a little bit later on this review, and a few other extra accessories as well. So if you are buying it for professional use and you know that you will be using it for a lot of your jobs, I think the professional kit makes more sense. If you're not too sure whether you'll be using it a lot or you have a very specific use case and you don't need all those extra accessories, then the starter kit is perfectly fine. And you can also buy all those extra accessories separately as well. The only thing that you need but doesn't come with any of the Smoke Genie kit is the battery. It's because of shipping issues, so PMI Gear decide not to package the battery with the kit, but it's the industry standard 18650 battery, which is super common. While you probably can't buy it from your local supermarket, but you should be able to find it very easily from your local electronics shop. But just be careful because there are a few different types of 18650 battery. So go to PMI Gear's website, I put a link below. They have information about the type of the 18650 battery that you should get for this Smoke Genie. You will need two 18650 battery for the Smoke Genie. And if you have that haze fan accessory, you will need one extra 18650 battery for the haze fan as well. Both the Smoke Genie and the haze fan has a USB port on it for you to charge the battery. So you don't need to buy a 18650 battery charger yourself. Now the good thing about not having a building battery is that you can buy extra 18650 batteries and replace them yourself. So this is particularly useful for professional users. So even though the battery seems to last quite a long time, but if you are doing a very long shoot from morning till night, then you can easily prepare some extra batteries and replace them when the battery dies. When you install the battery, the Smoke Genie will turn on itself automatically so you can use it immediately. But otherwise, just first press the button and then do a quick triple press of the power button to turn it on. This is a safety feature so that the Smoke Genie won't get accidentally turned on when you are traveling and have it in a bag or carry case and something accidentally touch the power button so you don't want the Smoke Genie to turn on like that. So once you put the battery in to use the Smoke Genie, first you need to fill up the smoke chamber with the smoke liquid. To fill it up is pretty easy, a lot easier than the Michael Fogger. By the way, the tap on the smoke chamber would turn pink when it becomes hot. So if you see it is pink, don't touch the smoke chamber and let it cool down before you touch it so you don't burn your fingers. And then you just screw the smoke chamber onto the smoke genie and then smoke genie would detect it. And then you just need to put the top cover back onto it, which actually has a few magnets on it for you to secure it onto the Smoke Genie. If you are using a brand new smoke chamber, then let it soak for a few minutes, but otherwise you can now start using the Smoke Genie right away. There's a very nice display at the front, which tells you all the information you need to know, the battery status, the power, the fan speed, and also there's a little timer as well. To control the Smoke Genie is super easy. There's the up and the down button for you to adjust the power or the fan speed and you can press 
the circle button in between to toggle between the two settings. And at the back, there is a trigger button to generate smoke, or you can use the provided remote control as well if you are mounting the smoke genie somewhere that you can't or you don't want to physically reach. By the way, there's also a tripod screw at the bottom of the smoke genie for you to attach it to a tripod or light stand if you want to. So there are a total of five different power and fan speed settings that you can adjust individually. If the power is set to level one, two or three, then you can run the smoke genie pretty much forever as long as you have enough battery and smoke liquid in the chamber. If you are running in power level four or five, then there is a time limit to protect the heating coil inside the smoke chamber from overheating. Once you finish using the smoke genie, just turn it off by triple pressing the power button. Then you should remove the top cover first and then remove this smoke chamber. And there is a container that comes with the smoke chamber. So you just put this smoke chamber back into the container. And even if there's still some smoke liquid inside the smoke chamber, you don't have to worry about it because the container is sealed. So the liquid won't leak outside when you put it back into the container and transport it. I really like this design. It is just very user friendly. I don't have to worry about what to do with the remaining smoke liquid in the smoke chamber. And that's pretty much the basics of the Smoke Genie. And now let's talk about some of the more advanced things that you can do with the Smoke Genie. Adding smoke to your scene can make a big difference on how your photo or video look like. But to take it to the next level, you want to be able to control the shape of the smoke. If you can control the position, shape and texture of the smoke, then you can become the god of smoke and god of photography or videography. And this is what the Smoke Genie impressed me the most. If you are just using the Smoke Genie by itself, it will pump out smoke with a bit of smoke cloud pattern just like most smoke machines. You can control the power and speed of the fan to change the smoke pattern, how much smoke it generates and also how fast the smoke moves. And that already give you pretty good control of the smoke from the Smoke Genie. So I did some toy photography using the Smoke Genie and look at this photo. I really like how the texture from the smoke that add a bit of motion to the photo. But what if you want the smoke to look more like haze so it doesn't really have the smoke texture? If you are taking photos, you can achieve that by slowing the shutter speed to maybe like a one or two second and the long exposure kind of smoothen the smoke texture. But for it to work, the camera has to be on a tripod, everything has to stay unmoved or you will capture the movement as well. And it certainly wouldn't work for video. But with the Smoke Genie, PMI Gear has created a haze fan accessory that if you attach it to the Smoke Genie, then the smoke comes out would look like haze. So it's smooth and it doesn't really have much texture. So by using the haze fan, it could dramatically change how the smoke would look like. And what about if I want to create some dry ice kind of smoke effect? Well, you can do that as well. If you use the Smoke Genie with the smoke shaping nozzles accessory, then you can create some smoke effect like it's coming out from the dry ice. This is super cool, especially if you are doing product photography or food photography and that would definitely make your photo or video look so much more attractive. And these are just two of the examples of how the different accessories for the Smoke Genie can help you control the shape and texture of the smoke by combining different accessories and Smoke Genie's power and fan settings, you have a lot of freedom to control the smoke that is generated by the Smoke Genie. And this I think is one of the most powerful thing about the Smoke Genie that most other products in the market can't over. There are a few more things that I want to talk about that I think is very important for you guys to know if you are considering getting the Smoke Genie. Some are good, some are bad. So let's go through all of them now. Just like pretty much all the smoke machines in the market, 
there are consumables that you have to buy and replace with the Smoke Genie as well. And it's mainly two things. One is the Smoke Liquid and one is the Smoke Chamber. So for the Smoke Liquid, you have to buy and use the one from PMI Gear because it is a special formula that is very concentrated smoke liquid specially designed for the smoke genie. If you want to use the smoke liquid that is designed for the normal size smoke machine, unfortunately those wouldn't work because they are just not strong enough. And the price of this special smoke liquid for the smoke genie is about $30 for a 120ml bottle. It does sound pretty expensive, but according to PMI Gear, you can make about 60 seconds of smoke with just 0.5 ml of the smoke liquid. Now, I think that number really depends on how you use the Smoke Genie and the power setting. But from my personal experience, after I fill up the smoke chamber, which is about 10 mil, it is enough for me to do three set of photos. So your mileage may vary, but I think a 120 mil bottle should last you quite a while. Having said that, if you are ordering a Smoke Genie, I think it is definitely a good idea to order an extra bottle of the smoke liquid at the same time, especially if you are planning to use it quite a bit. So the other consumable is the smoke chamber. So this is the little container where you fill the smoke liquid into. It is a consumable part because it also contains the heating coil, which would wear out as you use it. The smoke chamber I have here is actually the new improved version that they just released. The original one was made of glass, but PMI Gear has received feedback from their customers saying their smoke chamber broke during transport or when they drop it onto the ground. So this is the new version which is made of heat resistant polymer that is also shock or drop proof as well. PMI Gear told me the cost to make this new version is actually higher, but this should be a lot more durable than the original version. And the price of this smoke chamber is $55, which I was a bit surprised when I first heard it. It is really not cheap at all. But then according to PMI Gear, each smoke chamber should last approximately 200 hours of total smoke output. So if you use it regularly, say a 20 to 25 hours a month usage, which is about an hour a day, then it should last eight to 10 months. So it's not too bad, but I definitely wish the price of this chamber is a little bit lower, especially I feel some people may want to order one or two extra when they order the Smoke Genie. One question that I had at the very beginning is, is it safe to use it indoor? Because for me, I want to use a smoke machine indoor to do a lot of product photography and also some toy photography. And the answer is yes, because the smoke liquid from PMI Gear is made using food safe ingredients. Actually, when I had my first video call with the guys from PMI Gear, Mickey from PMI Gear did a demo by pumping smoke into a glass of tea to generate some cool smoke effect. And then he drank the tea after that to show me that it is perfectly safe to use it indoor and even drink it. Now, I haven't tried to do that myself, so I can't really tell you what the smoke liquid tastes like. So how powerful is the Smoke Genie? Is it only suitable for doing product photography or miniature photography indoor, or can it be used for something more than that? Well, the Smoke Genie is definitely perfect for doing product photography and miniature photography. Compared to the other products in the market, the advantage of the Smoke Genie is that you can have really fine control of the smoke generated by it. By adjusting the power, the fan speed, and also using one of the accessories, you can shape, control the smoke in many different ways. But it is also powerful enough to fill up a room with smoke easily. I did a bit of portrait shot in my garage, which is about 5 meter by 5 meter, so about 25 square meter or 270 square feet. And I wasn't planning to fill up my garage with smoke, but when I finished taking some portrait photos, I noticed my garage was completely filled with smoke and it becomes really quite hazy. And can you use it outdoor? Well, yes, you can. 
but PMI gear do recommend using two smoke genie for outdoor shooting. And I myself, I find it works pretty okay in semi-open area. And if you want to use it in open outdoor area, it is okay as long as the place is not windy. The device has a USB-C port to charge the battery. So can I use the USB-C port to power the unit instead? Or can I use the device at the same time when I'm charging the battery? Unfortunately, the answer is no to both. The USB-C port can only be used to charge the battery when Smoke Genie is not turned on. As a smoke machine, the Smoke Genie is pretty expensive. There's no doubt about it. Even the new $500 starter kit is still not something I would call cheap and it is two to three times more expensive than the Michael Fogger that I reviewed on this channel a little while ago. So if you are looking for an affordable, cost-effective solution, it is probably not something for you. But then why is it so expensive and is it overpriced? Because there's a difference between expensive and overpriced. Now, let me give you an example. If you go to a hardware store and you want to buy a power drill, the cheapest one is probably only around $30. But then there are some power drills that would cost you around $300 that is like 10 times more expensive. So why is it? After all, they are just a power drill. I guess it really depends on what kind of user you are. If you just need a power drill to help you for a weekend project, buying a $30 power drill is probably good enough. But if you need a power drill for your job and you need to use it all the time, it is probably a better idea to buy the more expensive one as the more expensive one usually are more reliable, better designed and would help you do your job much better. So if you need to use a power drill professionally, Buying a $300 one could actually be the better investment than buying some cheap power drills. Now, back to the Smoke Genie. What I can tell you is, honestly, it is a really well-designed smoke machine. After using the Smoke Genie for about a month, I can see how much effort the guys from PMI Gear has put into designing the Smoke Genie. From the way how you power the unit on and off, how you can easily swap out the smoke chamber and you can also put the smoke chamber back into the sealed container for storage, how you can replace the battery, pretty much everything about the Smoke Genie works very well. And the ability to shape the smoke and create different kind of smoke effect is just another reason that makes the Smoke Genie much more flexible than most other portable smoke solution. It just gives you a lot more creativity no matter if you are taking photos or video. Now I'm not going to tell you whether you should buy or not just like I'm not going to tell you that you should always buy the most expensive power drill or the most expensive camera, but I'm really glad that PMI Gear has created such a nice smoke machine for those of you who want the best small smoke machine in the market. 